friends, welcome back to the channel. My name is Neil and I am a productivity enthusiast with a passion for personal knowledge management. Today I will show you how to make Logsec and Obsidian work together. So the main question that we should ask is why should we use Logsec and Obsidian together? Well, although they are very similar in many ways, they also have certain differences which can be used for different use cases. Uh, the main points that uh, come to mind uh, when you use these uh, two apps are that uh, outliners like Logsec are better for forming and structuring ideas while uh, flat text file applications like Obsidian are better for developing and publishing long-form writing about those ideas. It doesn't mean you can't use Logsec for long-form writing, but Obsidian is crispier in its writing form and easier to use uh, for the long-form writers. Uh, on another, uh, in another aspect, Logsec doesn't have a mobile app as yet. It's due soon, uh, and this enables uh, Obsidian enables you to use their mobile app in sync together with Logsec. Although this is a, a, a subject for another video, uh, this is how I use it and uh, hopefully I will see you in the video uh, in the coming days. So although Logsec and Obsidian are both plugin powered, uh, Obsidian has over 300 plugins which make it a really uh, plugin powerhouse and you can really take advantage of those. Um, I will be making another video about the Obsidian Git plugin and how it can be used also to back up your notes uh, for free on GitHub. So watch out for that video as well. So uh, without any delay, let's get started on how to set up Logsec and Obsidian so that you can benefit from both worlds. Okay, so make sure that both apps are installed. As you can see, I have both of them uh, installed here. Uh, normally, uh, you shouldn't use them side by side when you are using the same files uh, as it can create issues. But just for the sake of this video, I'm doing it like that and I'm not working on my uh, original files. So just be aware uh, that don't use, be warned that don't use them all these together. Okay, so what should we do first? What are the steps? So for the logsec steps, what we will do is first we will uh, set up a new graph uh, in logsec. Okay, and this logsec, uh, when we create a new graph, it will create all the folders except for assets. So I will now create the, uh, the new uh, graph and you will not see these instructions, but uh, we will come back to this. So I go to the left hand side here and I say add new graph. Um, and I will have to choose a local directory. So I will create a new local directory here. So I will just name it um, logsec obsidian sync demo okay. and now I will go and yeah here logsec obsidian sync demo so now it has created the new graph and we can go and see that it has created these uh, three folders but the assets are not there so in order to make sure that it creates the uh, assets file I will just uh, drag and drop a PDF and now it should have created the assets folder as you can see okay now we are ready uh, to go to 
uh, to go to obsidian so we will here come to obsidian and we will say open another vault and you will choose open folder as vault and we will choose the new folder that we just created okay and what we can do is we can now close this one and keep this one here okay okay now uh, we have we have two applications logtech and obsidian pointing to the same uh, folders so you see the PDF that we just added is also showing up here uh, so now we have to do some uh, setting adjustments in obsidian and I would like to thank uh, Luman who is very uh, ha active in the discord and forum in the Logsec community uh, I think he was the first to come up with this obsidian and uh, Logsec sync so a big shout out to Luman from from here okay so now we go to the settings and go to the files and links tab and we have to choose the uh, default location for the new notes and it will be in the pages because this is the, the folder that logsec is seeing and for the new link format we will choose relative path to file we will uh, toggle off wikilinks uh, this will enable uh, better compatibility with logsec okay now for the attachments if you remember we had uh, made logsec create the assets folder so now our files and links settings are ready okay as you know uh, logsec is using uh, journals or daily notes and uh, we should enable the same functionality within obsidian so when i go to core plugins and find daily notes here and i will go to the settings of the daily notes and make sure that the dates are set to so they are correct it should be like this actually year month day uh, the new file location for the journals this is important it will be as journal so the daily note in obsidian will point to the journal folder in Obs in logsec uh, we won't use the template part if you want you can toggle this on or off depending on how you want to use obsidian i generally have this on okay and now uh, we can also add uh, uh, outliner uh, and the zoom plugins because outliner will give you the similar functionality of logsec like the outliner and zoom will give you the functionality of zooming into a bullet so I will disable the safe mode and make sure that uh, you only use the plugins that are major uh, mainly used by the community. I haven't heard of anybody having any issues with these community plugins, but uh, still these plugins can reach your data. So be careful. So now I will add the outliner. install it and then enable it and then I will add the zoom plugin install it and enable it okay so now everything from the obsidian side is completed and uh, all I have to do is uh, just close obsidian 
and make sure that uh, the dates are in the similar fashion okay so I have to change these two to these okay so it says I should uh, re-index and yeah so I will just re-index yes so that's it so uh, enjoy using both obsidian and logsec together and thank you for watching please don't forget to subscribe and like and comment if you have any other tutorials you would like to see please let me know um, thank you